At the point guard position, you kind of, at the beginning, you're just trying to like get everyone involved and um, get in the flow of the offense. But uh, today, we just kind of didn't get in a flow. So I think looking for my shot early uh, might just help it out a little bit. Uh, fourth quarter, you're able to get to the free throw line at key moments there. Uh, what, what stood out about just kind of the options you're able to find off the dribble and, and, and being able to get to the, the, to the charity stripe uh, to be able to kind of find some separation? Yeah, that was one of our keys of the game actually was uh, getting to the free throw line um, early and then obviously late too. So uh, I think when we spread them out, um, spread their defense out there at the end, it was easier for us to drive and uh, get those looks inside. So I think that that helped. I guess, how, how would you assess the, the way your team kind of played just being in, in a close game down to the wire? You know, you're tied going into the fourth quarter, uh, even even down to the final uh, possession, they, they had a chance to, to tie it. Uh, how do you feel your team kind of just handled that moment? Yeah, I mean, down by seven or nine at halftime, um, I thought we came out in the third quarter and really fought hard. And then uh, when it came down to the end, it was toe to toe there. And um, I'm just proud of uh, the poise we had and uh, just being able to close it out. After the Iowa game, uh, what types of adjustments did you feel just kind of within this team to, to be able to kind of turn things around uh, here in a short period of time? Uh, I think just a lot of communication and uh, leaving that one behind. I mean, it was the first game back after um, a long couple months out, and so uh, for both teams, uh, that's that was the case. So I think uh, just getting the game under our belt and then uh, knowing we were coming back home and uh, focusing on, on what we do best, and um, that's defense. So I think that uh, we did a better job of that today, and uh, hopefully the offense comes. Uh, you had four players that weren't available for today, the, the, the last two games, really, and you still had quite a bit of depth there. It seemed like balanced scoring with, with all mm -hmm. the players that, that saw court time. Uh, you have some newcomers, with, especially with Emerson coming in, and, and some players playing uh, larger minutes. Uh, how, how would you assess just kind of the way everything's com coming together so far at this point in the season? Yeah, I mean, like you love you love to see on the stat sheet a bunch of players in uh, double figures or eight nine points. It's just all spread out, so I think it's going to make us hard to guard, especially when we get um, those four back. Um, being able to go to the bench, like Coach said, and um, and players scoring off the bench for us is going to be really good. It's going to make us hard to guard, and I think um, that once we get them back and uh, we get get back all practicing together and get a few more games under us, I, I think the offense is going to come. I think it is. Anything that kind of stood out for you as far as the uh, new 2020 setup inside the McLeod Center? And uh, <laughs> how, how much did it take to kind of get used to, to the way things are, are, are laid out there with, with just the families in attendance? Yeah, I mean, I'm really, I'm super happy that they uh, let families come in because uh, I think that's really important to a lot of people. And uh, just thank you to all the staff uh, here and everywhere in the country for um, preparing and allowing us to get the chance and opportunity to play. Um, but yeah, I mean, sitting in the sitting in the stands instead of on the bench right on the floor um, is kind of a little adjustment. But um, we're gonna make whatever work, and uh, we're gonna be thankful that we just have the chance to play.